and hello my fellow vault dwellers welcome to another fallout 76 farming video In today's video i'm going to be showing you another location that i like to hit as a high level that has a pretty good amount of screws uh, to keep me scrapping and repairing and building all the weapons and everything that i need so for today's location we're going to be going to the national isolated radio array it is east of the white spring resort and it is southeast from vault 76 this is where we're going right here now, when you're doing this location, you're going to want to hit Sugar Grove and National Radio Astronomy as well. Uh, both good points. Check my other videos for more information. So, when you fast travel in, you're going to appear here. What I usually do is I will climb up on top of this, jump up on top of the tree if I can not stop messing it up, and I just jump over the fence. It just saves you a couple of seconds, and when you're doing farming runs and jumping between characters, every second that you save helps. Now, always make sure you check all the random um, random loot containers as well, because a lot of times you'll find additional items that can give you screws as well. Uh, super mutants usually spawn here, and they will sometimes drop screws as well, so always check them as well. Even if you don't normally need anything that they drop, I always check them just in case. What I usually do is, is I'll start off by clearing all the super mutants off of the floors. Then I loot. Alright, so we're in the kitchen. We're going to go ahead and look for hot plates and salt shakers, the green ones, which there are none. I don't know if this location has been picked over yet, so we'll see. Then again, I usually do the outside edge of the map first, hitting all the Random spawn locations, looking for fans, looking for globes, looking for type raiders. Doesn't look like this one's been picked over yet. And then I pick up all the goodies that I need. I do the bottom floor, then I go upstairs. No loot there. Okay. Another fan. Now this location I can usually get between 15 and 20 or so uh, screws without too much trouble, uh, fairly regularly. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Just kind of depends upon how lucky you get with the uh, the random spawn stuff as well. So, But it's a solid performer. This is one that does get picked over sometimes, but not as much as you would expect. So it's a good one. Now before we go upstairs, I usually do the downstairs. There is no scrap location here, I don't believe. I could be wrong, I've never looked for one here. I don't have lockpick on this character. But we're coming down to check the tool cases and the random boxes just to see if there was anything, and there wasn't. And then down here, this is usually where the boss for the area spawns. And then there's also some additional boxes down here you can check. And then there's a green box over here. Ah, and it had screws in it this time, so bonus. Oop, I need springs. Okay. So, once you've got those, we'll head up to the second floor. Here's the first. And here's the second. Now we'll go ahead and do a full sweep up here. You can still hear the super mutants up on the ceiling. That's what's giving me the battle music. Not too worried about those right now. Ooh, ballistic fiber, I need that too. As you can see, we're getting a decent amount of screws for very little work. Really doesn't take that long at all to get what you need. Where is my sound? There we go. Another typewriter. Typewriters are also a good source of gears and I believe springs. I have to double check that one. Don't quote me on the springs part. I still don't have everything memorized just yet because what I usually do is whenever I start a character, I have a rough idea what I need as far as like materials. So I'll go in and just, uh, once I've gotten a decent supply of the commonly needed stuff, I'll go into my character and flag all of that stuff to uh, be picked up. Alright, so once you've cleared this, there's one more spot you can check. I mean, you're already here. 
Plus the super mutants have a chance to drop screws. So usually what I do at this point after I grab that key is I will head up to the roof. There's usually two super mutants up here. I clear them out. Then we go over to a side location that usually has some additional uh, chance for additional screws as well. All right, and what I'll do is I'll jump on this red container and I run across. Now there's super mutants and there's a couple of ghouls here as well. So usually I will take out what's outside, then I'll run over. Oh, looks like I don't have to worry too much about it right now because they're all coming out to meet me for a change. Okay, let's finish off the super mutants. We'll check these while we're up here. Nothing. Now, in this container in the water over here, ghouls can spawn. Come here, buddy. I go ahead and kill them because sometimes they'll have junk that you can use for screws as well. Not always. Not even often, but sometimes. And since I'm here, I may as well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a sweep of the building. We already did the top floor. What we're looking for is junk that gives screws. Now, some of the junk that's in here will always spawn in here, and some of it's random boxes, like this one. And then that key that we picked up actually opens up another uh, room full of other garbage and stuff right here. And there's power armor spawn if you need it. And then what we're going to do is we're just looking for additional screws, which this time it doesn't look like it's going to give us any. And then at that point, you're done with this run. So let's go see what we picked up from here and see how many we ended up with. So we scrap out, and we ended up with 11 screws. So this one wasn't the best run. I've gotten way more than this. I've gotten upwards of like 25, but it's a quick run. Um, if you get more screws off of the super mutants, then of course you get more there. I also didn't get very many random loots out of the desks. Usually I'll pick up... Uh, uh, a couple of toy trucks, toy cars, and um, typewriters, stuff like that. So all in all, not a bad run. Still fairly quick for what we got. Um, if you combine this with the other three lo or the other two locations I mentioned early on, you can usually pick up between 50 and 100 screws uh, by hitting all three points and then going off and doing whatever you want to do. And then if you hit them again after going out and adventuring for a couple of hours, on a new server. You can server hop at that point. It won't be locked to you anymore. You can then redo them again before you go to bed. That way you can fuel the next day and that's how you build up a good chunk. So if you got anything out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with uh, comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions for future content. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I am putting out two videos a day, one at 8 a.m. and one at 4 p.m. Uh, thanks for watching guys.